These are my top ten reasons for a case for the existence of God. 1. Necessity of a first cause, cosmological argument. Physicists Bord, Guth, and Vilenkin discovered a mathematical theorem which dictates that all physical universes, including the theoretical multiverse, must have a required starting point. There was a time when physics, even quantum physics, time and matter did not exist. How did it come to be? Atheists will argue that it just is. However, the data seems to suggest that an eternal metaphysical, beyond the physical realm, mind brought everything to be. That mind would need to be omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. That mind is who we know to be God. 2. Designed creation, teleological argument. Hugh Ross has argued that there are over 180 cosmological constants in the universe so finely tuned that if they were to be changed by the nth degree, life and the universe itself would not exist. Even the theoretical multiverse would need to be designed to such a degree that it would require a designer. I believe wholeheartedly that physicists will eventually find design attributes and constants in the quantum realm if they haven't already. Design argues for a designer. 3. Objective morality, moral argument. Leaving the scientific realm for the philosophical and ethical objective morality argues for an objective lawgiver. God is the best explanation for why objective morality exists. As Brian Manuel, a good friend of mine, said recently, we can just know certain things to be right and wrong without even being taught. He is absolutely right. People have an innate sense of morality. That comes from a moral lawgiver who we know to be God. 4. Necessary being, ontological argument. In the end, one only has two options. Either an eternal nothingness, meaning again, no thing, not even quantum particles, brought forth something from absolute nothingness, or an eternal being brought everything that exists into being. The latter makes far more sense and actually adheres more to the scientific method than the former. 5. Explanation for data, information argument. Why is there anything at all? Even though the quantum world is a strange place, it still behaves according to certain laws. Why are there quantum particles, quantum fields? Why do physical processes and procedures exist? One explanation. God. For any data to exist, a programmer must exist. That programmer must be God himself. 6. Science and Mathematics Ironically, the scientific method and mathematics appeal to God's existence. Scientists hold that the universe operates according to certain laws on a regular basis. The ability to do science itself means that human beings have been given cognitive abilities to observe the universe and, interestingly, have been placed in a position where the universe is observable. One must inadvertently appeal to the divine to even do science and mathematics. To add to this point, the beauty one finds in nature would have no real aesthetic value unless God exists. 7. Historicity of Jesus' Resurrection One of the most historically provable events of ancient history is Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. Jesus' resurrection is quite intriguing because he continuously appealed to God the Father to raise him from the dead. For Jesus to have risen from the dead indicates that the one whom he mentioned did what Jesus claimed he would do. The resurrection of Jesus points to a transcendent reality we call God. 8. Miracles and Spiritual Encounters Craig Keener wrote a two-volume work describing the many documented miracles in modern times. While God may not always perform a miracle in every circumstance, a good deal of evidence suggests that God has performed miracles throughout history. Added with the many spiritual encounters people have had with the divine provides an added case that God does indeed exist. 9. Near-Death Experiences and Consciousness This is a fascinating area of study. Gary Habermas has noted that there are over 100 medically confirmed cases of near-death experiences where people have died and reported events that happened on this side of eternity which could be corroborated by others. The events described along with experiences of meeting God and the feelings of peace add to the case for God's existence. Most certainly near-death experiences prove that materialism is a dead philosophy. 10. Purpose and Meaning for anything to have purpose and meaning, God must exist. If Hawking is right in that the universe is all there is and there is nothing else, nothing, including his research, has any meaning or value. Meaning, value, and purpose are found only because God exists. I personally believe in God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I enjoy philosophy and looking at different viewpoints. Thank you for watching.